What's going on guys, this is Sam, and today we may have gotten our first official look at the iPad Pro 2018. These renders come courtesy of OnLeaks and MySmartPrice. MySmartPrice doesn't usually share rumors or leaks, they usually share these like render or concept images and have a relatively good track record. Also OnLeaks has a great track record for sharing new Android phones, Android tablets, shared new images of the iPhone at 10s Plus, and also the iPhone at 9 this summer. So these images are gorgeous, they're almost all available in 5K and of course full credit goes to my smart price and on leaks down below but there's so much to talk about so many details here that we have never seen before so let's go ahead and jump in I've looked over these and to me they look completely authentic they pretty much entirely match up with the rumors we've been hearing the leaks that we've seen including that leaked iPad Pro case from about a week ago but my smart price and on leaks do indicate that these may not be 100% accurate some parts of them could be off maybe they are fake to me they look real but I just wanted to share that up front with all of you. But let's go ahead and start breaking these down because there's a crazy amount of detail here. First up, with the brand new iPad Pros, the biggest change we are anticipating, well, there's a couple of really big changes. Biggest one is an edge-to-edge -edge display. And you can see that in its 5K glory right here. Definitely make sure to watch in 4K if you are on a desktop computer. This has probably been the most persistent rumor that we've been hearing for a couple of months. The new iPad Pros in 2018, both the 11 inch and 12.9 inch models are going to have gorgeous Retina ProMotion edge to edge displays that are going to look incredible, not only in these renders, but of course, incredible in person as well. And with that edge to edge display come a number of massive changes for the first time to the iPad. Number one, Face ID, number two, no home button, and number three, no Touch ID. But even though the new iPad Pros will be getting Face ID in 2018, they don't get what Face ID is usually associated with, and that is a notch, like Apple put on the iPhone 10. Apple's made what I think is the best decision they possibly could have made here, rather than making three sides ultra, ultra thin and one side partially ultra thin, they've made the bezel even all the way around. I would love it if one day the iPhone 10 looked this way, but of course, because the bezels are even all the way around, they're a little bit thick. Uh, to basically hide the face ID mechanism inside. So let me know your thoughts on this down below. Were you team notch? Were you team equal bezel all the way around? I definitely love the way the equal bezels look, but I do appreciate on the iPhone 10 how thin the bezels can get when you do have a notch. But the screen is only one of many big changes coming to this year's iPad Pros. There are so many big updates here. Go over to the back and take a look looks to be a relocation of the antennas. Honestly, this device gives me some really strong iPhone 7 vibes just because the antennas are in very similar locations. Also, the way the camera edges look here look very iPhone at 7-esque. And I don't think that that's a bad thing. I like the way the iPhone 7 looks. It was a great device while I had it. And Apple is clearly taking some strong design inspiration from one of their own products and applying it to this year's iPad. If we take a look at the camera setup, I don't think there's anything special happening here. We haven't heard there were gonna be any big features or changes or upgrades. It looks to be a single camera once again, although I was hoping for dual cameras myself, and also one flash to accompany that. However, I'm sure you guys have noticed this already. Uh, I noticed it was the very first thing that I looked for because a few weeks back, there was an iPad Pro case that leaked with this mystery cutout at the bottom. You guys had some really great guesses for what it could be. I hypothesized it could be a smart connector and taking a look at these renders right here, it is none other than the relocation of the smart connector. Those three circles are the smart connector and they are placed now in a vertical-ish position on the back. Like they're not aligned vertically, but if you use accessories with the smart connector, it appears that you'll be also then using the iPad, holding it up like this rather than like this as you currently do on the current iPad Pros. And this is gonna be a really, really weird change. Also, let me know your thoughts on this down below. Are you a fan of the relocation? Do you like the way it looks? And if Apple does end up removing the smart connector from the left side and placing it on the back, I think that lends more credence to the rumors that Face ID may only work in portrait mode or vertically like this because we've heard Apple may not be able to implement Face ID in a way that you can rotate the iPad in all orientations. That's one of the best parts about Touch ID. You can place your thumb on the iPad in any orientation and it works instantly. With Face ID, as of right now, based on what rumors and leaks are suggesting, 
you'll only be able to unlock the iPad in this orientation, which is gonna be so annoying to have to rotate every time. I hope, once again, that Apple does not make this happen. I hope this is part of the schematics that aren't true, that is off, or it's just been skewed somehow, because I think it's gonna, number one, make some people upset, and number two, I think it's just gonna make using an iPad an objectively worse experience. I don't think it's gonna make it easier or better. You may be asking yourself then, okay, what's in place of the smart connector? What is so important that Apple had to relocate it? And according to these renders from my smart price and on leaks, it is a microphone cutout. I'm not kidding you, that's not a joke. I did not Photoshop in there. It is literally just a microphone there. I doubt that Apple is actually relocating it because they wanted to place a microphone here, but they probably moved it and said, okay, what's a middle area of the device we can place a microphone? And they settled on there. So going back to that leaked iPad Pro case, that explains the cutout at the bottom. That mystery is solved. It ends up being the smart connector. But what about this other cutout below the volume rocker? I thought it could be maybe a SIM card tray. On these renders, it's shown to be at the bottom or even maybe a cutout for like a second volume rocker or a cutout for just a second smart connector that Apple would leave here. No, this is a mystery. Again, what is this switch? What is going on here? I've never seen anything that really looks like this on an Apple product before. Please, once again, sound off in the comments down below. I'd love all your feedback on this because it looks to be a toggle or a switch of some sort. My only guess here is maybe it's a physical mute switch but that wouldn't make that much sense because usually that's placed right next to the volume rocker. This is so strange, this is so weird. We have never seen any reference or mention to this new button before these renders. And it's really confusing while well, we solve one mystery for the smart connector on the back of the device. It seems like another one has opened up with this toggle. Like, what could this be? That being said, the rest of this iPad is pretty straightforward. You have four stereo speakers again. I really hope they get louder and the bass improves because right now they're relatively tinny on the current iPad Pros and if this is a device for professionals, I would definitely love some improved speakers here, especially ones that get louder. I feel like I'm listening to my volume on my current 10.5 inch iPad Pro at nearly max because it just never seems to get as loud as I really want it to, especially if you're in a louder environment. But you also get the lightning port once Again, I highly, highly doubt Apple switching to USB-C here. Almost certainly will be a lightning connector. And the final uh, gift from Apple to us, I'll, I'll phrase it as a gift, is the removal of the headphone jack. We're getting Face ID here, and we're also getting the headphone jack removed. I know a lot of you feel very split on this. I miss the headphone jack. Like, I want you to know that I miss it. I just know that this is the direction that Apple's going in, and they're definitely just not gonna randomly start keeping or reverse the decision that they made starting with the iPhone 7 in 2016. The headphone jacks on every Apple product one day, I can almost guarantee you, will be removed. They're gonna be gone. And while it definitely makes adjusting in the short term really hard, I'm hoping it will be worth it in the long term, although you can definitely hear my skepticism here because I miss the headphone jack. It's an annoyance, but it's definitely the direction that Apple's going in. And just like the iPhone 7 in 2016 lost the headphone jack, the iPad Pro in 2018 it will follow in its footsteps. Another big change with this year's iPad is the way the edges are. I kind of have a hard time explaining it. They're not curved or rounded like they are on the current iPad Pros or like many iPads have been in the past. This looks so incredibly reminiscent of the OG, the original iPad from 2010. Taking a look at this picture right here, comparing it to our current rendered images from my smart price and on leaks, the parallel Parallels here are pretty easy to see. The edges look incredible, and while the 2018 iPad Pro is much, much thinner than the original iPad, the edges definitely do look similar the way they're shaped, the way the front connects to the back. They're not rounded, and although I'm not the biggest fan of this change, it does look sort of familiar, and I do appreciate that part of it. So that's everything that I was able to gather from these renders. A lot of interesting stuff here, especially my mind is, is still really fixated on that switch. What is it for? What is it going to do? Is it a locking mechanism? Why why haven't we heard about that before these CAD files were leaked? I don't have the answers just yet, but I hope that in a couple weeks at Apple September event, we will have the answers. We don't know for sure that this product will be unveiled there. The only two products that are confirmed to be coming at Apple September event are the iPhone XS, the iPhone XS Plus, 
probably the iPhone 9, the lower cost 6.1 inch LCD iPhone, and then of course the Apple Watch Series 4. Those have been officially leaked by Apple. And quick tidbit, it turns out those didn't leak because of a live stream. A writer at 9to5Mac had actually guessed the URLs of the images that were for some reason already live on Apple's site. So they weren't discovered in a live stream, they were actually uploaded on Apple's site and someone guessed the exact file URL path, which is crazy. But these may be coming, the new iPad Pros may be coming in September. They may also be coming in October or November in a press release or at a second Apple event. We don't know for sure, but as always, I will keep you updated. So smash that subscribe button down below, smash the like button, smash the comment button. For now, I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great and I will talk to you in my next video.